Good morning. It is like 5 a.m. right now and we've just come to Sabre Ferry Terminal because today we're going to be heading to a tropical island off the coast of Puerto Rico called um, Culebra. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful places here. So, yep, we're just here now. We're just trying to work out how to get on the ferry and we're heading there. All right, we got the two tickets here, 450 each. Return, pretty cheap. So we've arrived here on Culebra and now we're just going to get on one of these vans here. I'm not sure how much it costs and that's going to take us to the beach that we want to go to. The place that we've come is called Playa Flamenco and this is supposed to be possibly like the nicest beach here in Puerto Rico. And the van here, I think it was like three dollars each way so six dollars round trip for both of us but we did like a deal with the guy the same guy to get picked up by him and it was like ten dollars so five dollars each but look at this place man looks beautiful sun's still rising so it's kind of dark at the moment so it's still super early it's only like 7 a.m and I think he's gonna pick us up at like 3.50 p.m. So we got so much time here. There's some other beaches nearby that you can do snorkeling and stuff. So we might check that out later on. But yeah, it's gonna be a nice relaxing day here. This is gonna be our spot here underneath these palm trees. This is definitely a legit Caribbean island. That's for sure. Check this water out. Clearest water I've seen on this trip yet. We're gonna head on a little walk down to the end of the beach here because you're gonna see there's something very unique about this beach compared to others. So we have a real tank right here. That looks crazy. Got some cool graffiti on it. So a bit of history about that tank. Apparently the US used this island as a missile launch site like to test uh, missiles before World War II. And then I think they were doing it for many decades and then the people of the island protested it. And then I think in 1970 they stopped doing the missile test but then they kept some of their, some stuff got left over. I doubt I'll ever be seeing a, a tank on a, on a beach ever again. Why on earth would they use this place to do missile tests? I have no idea. Going to grab ourselves a smoothie now. 
smoothie list. What to choose? All right, I got a banana smoothie. Carol got, what was it, mango? Five dollars, pretty expensive, right? Each. <laughs> so I got this meal. This was fish, uh, fries as you can see, rice, thirteen dollars. Carol got pretty much the same, just with chicken, ten dollars. Yeah, so our meals here have pretty much always been around this price range, like ten, fifteen dollars. So it's pretty much the same as U.S. prices, really. Couldn't be a day in Puerto Rico without seeing a chicken. <laughs> All right. We're now heading to the other side of this beach. It seems to be a, like a more deserted area. It's actually quite a small beach. That part with the tank over there was pretty much the end of that side and we're just heading to the other side right now. We were going to go to another beach called Playa Tamarindo. There you can do some like good snorkeling. There's supposed to be loads of stuff to see, but the guy that rents the snorkel is not here today. I guess it's a Monday, I don't know. But if you're coming, yeah, bring some snorkel gear because that, that must be really cool. And yeah, let's see how this part is. So we've come to the very far side of the beach now. Carol's taking a little nap. Probably doesn't want me to film her. <laughs> here's super nice as well. See nobody here at all. And you can also see there's some tour boats there now. There's actually one coming in as well over there. So yeah, I guess there's some boat tours around the island. That would be cool. And I'm probably gonna take my drone for a flight again. I wasn't going to do, but yeah, here's a bit different. So I'll take some shots of that. be heading out now we gotta catch the ferry we've actually been here for over eight hours I don't remember the last time that I spent a whole day at a beach <laughs> been ages since I done that but I'm gonna keep filming because I want to show you where we're staying so that's what's coming up next I've just arrived in our hotel room and the reason I wanted to film this place is because Puerto Rico is a really hard place if you're on like a budget it's very hard to find like cheap places to stay obviously there's an American territory and it's in the, in the Caribbean so I don't think anyone really expects it to be that cheap but at the same time we've been finding it really hard to find a cheap place uh, like the first two days I think we spent $88 per night but that was for an apartment and, and that was in San Juan the second the third day we um, which was yesterday, we spent I think $62 and we were like all the way up in the mountains and it looked like it was the first floor of somebody's house that they just like rent out I guess. And then today we've kind of found this funky looking place, check this out. This is our room here. Got some funky, funny looking waves. Interesting art. So, this place is basically like an ex-hostel. It's still basically a hostel though. We This is just a private room. We've got to share like the bathroom stuff just like a hostel. But even so, this is still $42. And this is like the cheapest place that we could find on the internet. And we're in um, a place called Fajardo right now, which is um, it's basically near the port for, from where we did the trip to Culebra and stuff. So 
there isn't that many hostels at all here in Puerto Rico. Only in like the main towns or the main cities like San Juan, Culebra and Vieques, that those are the only locations. So yeah, this is just to show you like how, how difficult it is to do this on a budget. You can see here, loads of people writing stuff on the walls. Slovenia. Two girls who ended up on the wrong island. Some pretty funny stuff here. There you got the chickens, obviously. Brazil. Here you got the kitchen. Some other cool wall. <laughs> So that was just a quick tour of where we're staying. It's called the Caribbean Hippo, like I said, in Fajardo. So it's a good place to stay if you want to get the ferry to like Vieques or Culebra, a good cheap place to stay. Those places also have hostels as well if you want to stay there, but I think they're more like over $50, $60. So yeah, that's about as cheap as you can get. And since I mentioned Vieques, that is where we're going tomorrow. We're going to go to the same ferry terminal as we did today and we're going to head there and check out that island for a day. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. As always, drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you like to see more videos and I'll see you in the next one.